Alright guys, welcome back to another GTA 5 emergency services video and as seeing as the last video was quite popular with you guys, you seem to really like it. I decided to make another video and this time it's even better. Like I know what I'm doing now and I'm going to be playing quite realistically. I have my buddies here, I have a few firefighters with us, we're part of the London Fire Brigade, we're going around the city sort of putting out fires, rescuing people, basically doing all the heroic stuff so let's get inside the engine. And we shall go. I do believe we have a call. It's a we're the first due, we're first on call, so I'm gonna respond to that. I grade right now, we're just gonna turn the blues on in a sec. Let's go. Okay, so we're on scene and there seems to be a blip on the mini-map, there's like a flashing car or something. Oh, there's a vehicle fire! First thing we're going to do, we're going to press M, we're going to go to the menu, I'm going to get my equipment, I'm going to get the fire gear so that we don't harm ourselves, I'm going to get the... tell people to evacuate the area. God, now my bodyguards are evacuating the area as well. But I'm going to get the equipment... Oh, what the hell? As soon as I get the equipment out, the fire is like, just not there anymore. But yeah, we're going to drive back now to the uh, station and we're gonna wait for another call. Come on buddy, get in! Engine 39, show me available. Okay, so now we got a person Engine that's not breathing on Malagan Avenue and we need to respond there to the cardiac arrest. Avenue, be advised, you hear the horrible automated voice. Person's not breathing, paramedics might be there. We gotta respond there, I grade, as quick as possible. So let me turn the blues on. We get here before the train comes. Oh god. <laughs> so I missed the bucket there, didn't I? Let's wait until the train goes and we'll turn our blues on. So sometimes in real life, the fire department or the fire brigade, depending on where in the world you live, they're usually dispatched to first aid calls that sometimes ambulances will be dispatched because a person might be injured in quite an obscure or unusual place and they'll need the fire brigade's equipment in order to get to them. Because a lot of the equipment that we use to rescue people from fires can also be used to rescue people if they've sort of got like stuck under a car during a motor accident or if they're like on the motorway and their car is on fire and they need to be pulled out or act like just ex accidents in general. Because it's not just the fire brigade, we're also the fire and rescue brigade. That's pretty much what we're doing in this game so far. Alright, we're here. Hope it doesn't end up like last time where the person ended up dead on the beach and like the ambulances didn't do jack shit. Okay, there's a person there. Turn the sirens off. What are we gonna do here? Let's go! Come on guys! Engine Injured person. Alright, uh, we need to get to the victim. We need to give them treatment right away. So we need to analyze the status. Right, everyone stay clear. We're gonna give this person CPR. First we're gonna check their pulse. Right, stay clear. Okay. Is he breathing? Alright, let's do this. Go. Uh, the London ambulance is on its way. You can hear the sirens in the background. Stay with me, buddy. Ambulance is on their way. There it is. Come on guys, you could do better than that. I shouldn't have left my fire engine in the way to be honest. I might have to just stop and move it. You alright sir? Funnily enough, he seems to be getting on his feet. He's standing? You good? Okay, an ambulance around the corner mate. We'll let the uh, London Ambulance Service take care of this guy. So the paramedics will go out of their van and I'm going to move the fire engine for them so they can get over a bit quicker. Mate, you're walking the wrong way. Okay, so we're gonna go back, drive around the city, and wait for some calls. Thirty-nine respond to AMVA addresses. Right, well, we have Rancho a motor vehicle Boulevard. accident at El Rancho Boulevard. The police are on scene. I believe the Met Police are dealing with it. It's all the way over here, and they requested our help. So, like I said earlier on in the video, guys, like the fire brigade, they're also the fire and rescue service, so what they'll probably do is, like, you know, accidents like this, people might be stuck in a car, or the car might be, like, 
in, someone might have got hit by it and they might be stuck under the tires and they need our specialist equipment to get them out. Like we, we've got axes, we've got clamps, we've got all sorts of stuff inside this machine so it's exactly what we're going to do right now. Alright, I can see the police at the moment, they've got the um, traffic unit on the scene. Let's park up behind them. Alright, let's keep the uh, lights on actually, so... I'm going to park aside here, and what I want to do is I'm going to get the... Uh, Alright, he's got his uh, glow stick on, he's sort of waving the traffic by, so what we're going to do is we're going to go to the management menu. Oh, it doesn't work. It was like a sort of road management menu you can use when you're a cop. I was going to hope to use this, but apparently not. Let's go see if they've got the equipment for the road. Okay, we've got... No. Excuse me. Uh, road cones. We want a road cone. We want to press the middle mouse button to place it. Okay, apparently the road code isn't working. The middle mouse button triggers this useless mobile phone. But I'm going to go and have a look at what's going on here. Okay, officer, wait there. Engine 39, right. show okay, me on so scene. Okay, so we have a victim here. We have a female on the floor. Doesn't seem to be... What the hell? Accidents are already happening. Right, stay clear. Officers trained in basic first aid, but we have a higher level of training at the moment. Still, we're probably going to call the ambulance service at some point because they, you know, even more than us. But as you can see, there's a reason why I wanted to close the road off. The traffic's a bit cocky this time of evening, and uh, engine 39 just requesting the MS like, on scene. Any sense? Well, that one's stopping now, but God help us if that lorry turns into this road. We knock on my bodyguards and friends over, but <laughs> my partner's over. But yeah, you all should stop driving so quickly. Let's have a look at our status now. We'll just wait until the animation stops and then I'll see how they're doing. As you can see, the traffic's getting held up because of an accident. This is usually what happens on the motorway. Like, I know some of you guys might be a bit a little young to realize, and then some of you are like experienced road users, but like, yeah. When you get traffic like jams on motorways and A roads, they're usually because of stuff like this. Like, uh, you know, someone's injured and the police and the emergency services are there and they're trying to do something about it. So yeah, sometimes that's why traffic jams happen. It's because of accidents on the road, mostly. Not just, like, congestion. Okay, ma'am, are you alright? Okay, we're going to call an ambulance for you. Ambulance is on their way. Make sure the ambulance comes. Right, the uh, London Ambulance Service are on their way. This uh, police officer is going to stay here and he's going like, to make contact with them and tell them what's going on because, basically, that's his job. He's supposed to record information and... Uh, give a correct statement, but we're done. We're the first on scene, we sort of have played the rescue part. The ambulance are going to take them to take her to the hospital and sort of they'll take them from there to be honest. Okay, the officer just got his glow stick. Oh, I think I gave him a bit of a fright. <laughs> but yeah, we're going to go back on the road, we're going to find some more calls. Maybe we'll get some interesting stuff like bushfires or some building fire to put out. At the moment we've just been doing rescues, but like it'd be very fun to like, put out some fires, so stay tuned. We'll find some firefighting to do. Engine 39, show me available. Engine 39, respond to a commercial structure fire. Okay, we have a commercial fire structure fire. Right, Palomino finally some Avenue. action. We have to respond there right away because these fires are very, very um, in, like, unpredictable. We have to get our equipment out and make sure that we are taking all the safety hazards into precaution. This is a f that's not a fuel station. I thought it was a fuel station. If that was a fuel station, there was a fire. We'd be fucked. Engine thirty nine. Right, let's show go. Me on scene. Got my fire extinguisher. We're gonna go right there and uh, put out the fires. Right, everybody, stay clear. Oh my god, I'm, I'm catching fire. I'll be fine. I've got this fire resistant suit I'm wearing. But yeah, it really is that bad. Oh my god, no, we got a firefighter down. Oh my god, I'm catching fire as well now. Got two firefighters down. I told you those bodyguards would be no good. I look at the top left screen, guys. It says Binko Clothing is closed. Please come again later. Like, yeah, way to take the piss, guys. Like, honestly, <laughs> really funny. Over here, guys. Over here. Don't hit that guy's SUV over. Here, here, here. 200 pound. 
Ah, oh, no, sorry. Two injured firefighters, come on, come on, wait, follow me. Right, right this way. Two injured firefighters. Need your help. So it looks like it's only me and my buddy that survived this incident. Everyone else is sort of like going to the hospital. So we're going to go back to the fire station now. And um, that's about it for today. I think I'm going to make some more videos soon. We're going to have much more fires in them, like forest fires and stuff. So yeah, stay tuned. If you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe. You're going to love the stuff on here. I do GTA 5 patrols, like police patrols, LSPD 5. They're actually good ones, like the British police and everything. I do paramedic mods, I do random stuff as well, like I'm planning soon just to escape the cops and do some random videos, so yeah, tune into that as well. And also you'll be able to find British mods on my channel that like I've made that you can only find on my channel. So yeah, make sure you follow that. And I'm gonna catch you guys soon, so don't forget to rate, share, comment, subscribe, stay tuned, I will see you guys next time. Till then, peace out.